Okay, so this video I'm going to demonstrate um, what my purpose in running Travancall in version 1.0. Uh, I have Battle Orders and Whirlwind on right mouse, and I just use the uh, mouse wheel to switch between them. Uh, where did he go? And I kill the Travancall for gems. And when you kill them a few times, if they don't drop many gems, uh, then just change slightly the location where you kill them. Uh, typically, I like to do like right here and then in the doorway, or near the doorway. Um, and the reason that I'm farming gems is because they're used in cube recipes in 1.07 and 1.08. In particular, the sapphires can be used to make rings with up to 37 mana per kill. And uh, I think it's not worth it to run up there for him. And the topaz, ruby, and emerald I would roll at higher levels for a chance, probably in 1.08, for a chance to get um, a Stone of Jordan with resistances. So the recipe where, for example, you put the um, what is it like? Uh, antidote potion, an emerald, and a ring. And it gives you a ring with poison resists. Uh, it's supposed to only generate magic rings, and then the magic ring will also have poison resist in addition to whatever it does. But it's... Uh, they did not disable generating... Uh, set rare and unique rings so you could get like angelic's ring or Cathan's ring or a nagel ring although it only has 15 magic find or the stone of jordan if you roll it with a high enough level character um, with and you can get Poison resist, you can get one with lightning resist using topaz topaz ring. You can get one with fire resist using uh, exploding potion ruby ring. And you can get one with cold resist using sapphire thawing potion ring. And it's any level of the gem, like a chip, the flaw, the perfect, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, hello? Uh, but the, the Stone of Jordan uh, with resistances, for me personally, would just be like an interesting item to have, not something that I personally am seeking. Uh, I'm doing this for Sapphires in particular uh, to get the mana per kill ring with potentially up to 37 mana per kill uh, and two magic find affixes and faster cast rate is what I want. Which takes like on average 18,000 attempts and I have done about 3,000 attempts so far in the past at character level 19. Uh, typically when people roll the, I need to kill them at a different spot when people roll the sapphire recipe for mana per kill, they will only be after uh, uh, fast cast rate 
and mana per kill. That's all they care about. Um, and that is done, I believe, at character level 8 to give you the best chance. What if I kill you down here? Uh, and I already have a couple of those. Like, I think I have one with like 30, maybe 30 mana per kill. And then I have one with like 23. Um, I saw a skull. There it is. And then. Uh, Another use for gems, of course, is that perfect skulls can be used to reroll rare items. And then any flawless gem, three flawless gems, and 1.10, 1.10a, 1 uh, 1 which is a beta version. Um, and nothing. Can generate. Uh, magic items with up to five sockets where traditionally you think of the maximum uh, as being I believe four or maybe even three like in 1.09 the three chip gem recipe to get sockets in your cool colossus blade of quickness I think that might have only been um, three uh, sockets and so in 1.10a with flawless gems, you can get up to five sockets. And I think it would be interesting to have a war scepter with a faster cast rate on it and five sockets to use on my druid uh, to get more options available for how he is equipped. Uh, hurricane druid. Traditionally, you think of wind druid and my goal is to only use Hurricane and not have to cast Tornado. So. Like all this time travel play that I do, you know, it's interesting and fun or whatever. Uh, but ultimately the goal is to make a Druid who kills things with Hurricane. and farms ancient tunnels or maggot lair. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm considering making an Amazon uh, with freezing arrow to test how that works versus the Travancall uh, for farming runes. Like how fast can she kill them? And normally I expect it to take about 10 to 15 minutes to fill up an inventory full of gems. And so we're pretty much on track for that. And then I have the modified d2gfx.dll, which lets me run more than one copy of the game at a time. And so I can mill with myself using only one computer by just launching another copy of the game. So, you know, if, if you're following along and playing as well and using this as an inspiration or as a guide, then it's up to you whether you decide uh, if that's ethical or if for mewling you need to get another computer. And that's fine too. I've done that in the past as well. Um, 
if you have like a cheap laptop or like, uh, you know, when you upgrade your computer, just leave the old one to be a Diablo 2 mealing computer. And I had recorded this particular video once already, uh, this Trav and Call run. Uh, but I was like halfway through and realized that my microphone was not on. So there was no sound. Which was kind of annoying, but at the same time it was kind of nice because in that video I had died. And so now I don't have to show my death. Uh, and after I died, I switched to this armor. Uh, I was wearing, I think, Blink Bat's form with 10% faster run walk. Yeah. So I switched to this one for the magic damage reduction and the extra resists and the life steal. Whoopsies. Uh, one of the things, is there a way to make that not red? Yeah. One of the things that uh, makes magic damage reduction so much more powerful in older patches, um, like why do I care about only three magic damage reduction, is it's applied after resistances. So like I have 75 lightning resist, if they deal 100 damage in this patch, uh, then the lightning resist would reduce that to 25. And then this would reduce that to 22. Uh, in modern patches, you, they deal 100 damage and this reduces it to 97. And then um, your resistances would reduce it to 24. So you get two extra damage reduction out of it. Physical damage reduction is the same way. Uh, the integer damage reduction is applied after the percent, uh, which on the one hand is nice when wearing like um, uh, Vamp Gaze or Shaco or uh, what's another one? I thought I saw a third gym. Whatever that shield is, Storm Shield, maybe? Uh, but when they use Amplify Damage and your resists go negative to physical, uh, then they deal tons of extra damage and then, then the physical damage integer reduction is slightly less powerful in that case. Um, is there no gym? I thought I heard a gym. Is this a failed unique? Yeah. I was just checking. Um, if it's a failed unique, then whenever it shows low durability, I still have a while. So I should be able to go ahead and fill up my inventory. Yeah, I need to kill them here. Jim G, who is the seventh meal for gems. And when I have 10, then I will forward them to 1.07. 
and transfer all of their gems to my third party program stash Atma. So that will be a lot of manual clicking. Okay, so that's. Uh, other host normal. Then and I will drop all the gems on the floor and then move away because you see my life here. I think you can see it. Whoops. Yeah, you can see it. Uh, 2160 out of 1,323. The battle orders from the previous game still applies. If someone joining this game hovers their mouse over me so the life bar shows up, they will crash. To desktop, fatal error. Or critical error, critical error. Uh, if I were being super picky, then I would only keep uh, sapphires and maybe skulls. Uh, but I'll do all the recipes eventually, so it's okay. I can keep all the gem types. Okay, 1.0. This will always connect you to yourself. That's it. Uh, I've showed you this guy's gear before, so I'm not going to hover over it very long. Uh, probably, I think the most interesting item he has is this ring. But I know that like YouTube will let you pause and advance frame by frame using comma and dot if you really want to see them. Uh, the hat's pretty good. <laughs> 